Everything about my makeup routine has changed. I don't fill in my brows anymore. Crazy. I don't use beauty blenders to blend. While I only highlight my nose, I still use hair glue, argue with your mama. But it comes out so pretty and so flawless. Stay tuned to see what I do. Hold it. Got the dumpy, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, my besties? And welcome back to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn your push notifications on. Follow me on social media. All that good stuff, okay? Okay, so I'm so excited for today's video. Can you believe I'm doing makeup? Period, okay? I'm here to show you guys my updated routine. If you've been rocking with me, it's the same products. I just do everything differently, okay? So first off, getting into the skin, okay? My skin has been doing so much better and it's because literally I drink a thousand bottles of water a day, okay? But that's another video for another time. I'm so excited to show y'all my new techniques, tips, and tricks to get a flawless foundation routine every single time you do your makeup. So, the starters, I gotta get this hair out of my way. Don't nobody got time for it, okay? After I pin that up, we're going to jump into doing my eyebrows. Can you believe, or would you believe if I told you that I don't fill my brows in anymore for real, for real? Okay, don't think I'm crazy, but like, hear me out. So first, I use this spoolie. It's from an e.l.f. Um, brush. I don't use the actual makeup anymore. I do go in a little bit with NYX Micro Pencil. Y'all know. Y'all know that's my ting, okay? Always been using that. I don't fill it in, but I, I add into sparse areas. And I also use my angle brush and got to be to get my brows together. I also use this full cover um concealer by kiss in the shade toffee so yeah i'm going for the sparse bushy brow look i have a lot of brow hairs to do that so i just go in with a lot of guys to be gel if you have a really good recommendation for eyebrows in terms of like eyebrow gel don't even tell me because i ain't gonna stop using got to be I love it. It like lays my brows down so perfectly. And doing this, your brows look so much fuller and put together, but in a nice bushy way. I don't know. Then here's a little technique with my angle brush. I like to squeeze it and then just get a little bit of makeup from the regular concealer applicator. And then I go into my brows. Don't judge the fact that I'm gonna go out of camera right here really soon sorry y'all will see how i do it on the second brow but basically i just use really tiny light strokes and i go directly under my brow i don't conceal the top of my brow at all not with foundation not with concealer with nada okay um and now here i am literally only going in with nyx micro pencil like just on like the the arches of my brows and if you guys can hear my siblings in the background I do apologize. <laughs> it's never a dull moment in this house. Is he screaming right now? Jesus Christ. But anyways, y'all see like the small tiny strokes I'm adding? That's literally all I can do. I mean, that's literally all I do. I'm sorry about the lighting in this video. It's kind of bright. But yeah, now I'm taking this $1 e.l.f. brush and I'm just getting that concealer all blended into my skin. FYI, this concealer blends out really smoothly if you let it dry on your skin for a little bit. So that's a little tip as well. And then your brows are going to come out looking bomb, fluffy, oh, so cute. So now we're going into face, honey, okay? Y'all know I love Fenty Beauty. I'm using the primer, the hydrating one. I'm almost out, so I definitely need to go back to Sephora and give me another bottle. But I literally coat my entire face in this. It just helps everything blend out so smoothly. Also, it protects your skin, you know? It's the layer in between your makeup. So now I'm going to use the e.l.f. foundation. And I'm using still the same uh, concealer that I did for my brows. I'm going to mix them together to do my foundation. Yeah, the beginning of, like, spring, this foundation was too dark. So I was adding it with the concealer to, like, lighten it up a little bit. I probably can just use the foundation now. Because um, it's looking a little light now. Or maybe it was the lighting. I don't know. But I put that all over my face. I use a good amount. Even though I don't need it, 
you want it for a full beat, okay? Um, FYI, all of my brushes are from e.l.f., okay? I get the access foundation off my hand and I go crazy with the blending, okay? This brush is amazing and this foundation is really, really good too. Do you guys see how that just covered up that pimple? Bomb. Fah. Okay, like per. I just I just love this combination for my foundation. Um, it does take a little bit of time to like oxidize, but once it gets into your skin, it it matches really, really well. Okay. So yeah, if you go on e.l.f. um website, you're gonna see all their brushes that they have. Literally every single brush that I use, except for one or two Sephora brushes, is gonna be from e.l.f. They have amazing brushes, and they're also in Target, so every time I go in there, I'll be picking up some new brushes to try out. Um, if you did not already know, this entire makeup tutorial is going to be brush work only. I really don't use beauty blenders anymore to blend out foundation or concealer, anything like that. I'm going to show you guys in the end, but didn't that just like cover my skin so flawlessly? period so now i'm jumping into contour i know that's a little different for me i always do concealer but i'm gonna use elf again their hydrating camo concealer i'm not sure what color i'm so sorry but um here's another elf brush don't know exactly which one but i'm gonna put a little bit of this contour color on my um my jawline whatever not jawline cheekbone underneath girl you know what i'm talking about I only put a little bit and I only do one cheek at a time and then I take like the butt of my brush and I pat you see where that line is that's the only part that I use and I pat 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 in the same area and then I'm gonna start patting upwards and I'm gonna get by my temple and I'm gonna get by my hairline first and then I'm gonna drag it down into my face Y'all remember when I didn't know how to uh, cream contour? I know how to get that shit together now, okay? Like, period. Once I'm going to show y'all in a second. I think it's coming up right now. Do you see how flawless that looks? Ah, baby! <laughs> it's giving chef's kiss, period. I just... <sighs> Anyways, okay, let me stop gassing myself. I take the access and I go over my forehead. Um, Girl, I'm filming in... HD 4K right now. So if you could see a little lace, match business and just back up, okay? So, anyways, now I'm going in to conceal. Um, I'm using warm honey and I'm using elf hydrating camo as well under my eyes, my forehead, and my nose. Who still highlights their chin? Because I know I don't. I used to highlight my chin, I used to highlight my upper lip. That's dumb. I have so much hair on my upper lip. Like, no. Like, that's really unnecessary. So, these are the only areas that I do. And I go in with the e.l.f. concealer, which is a little bit brighter under my eyes and my eyes only. Like I say, I ain't using no, no, no beauty blender. Baby, no. I'm going in with e.l.f. brushes only, okay? Um, This is the putty brush. I don't... What, what does it say girl putty something applicator i think it's for an actual like elf makeup product that they have but this is so dense so i love it it's perfect for this okay i'm going to show you the elf brush that i used to use she's flatter um the the bristles are kind of harder so i don't like using her anymore i need something that i can pat directly into my skin and this brush is perfect for that um, if you are wondering though what kind of beauty blender that was, that was also an e.l.f. beauty blender. They work fire, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I never actually had a beauty blender from Beauty Blender or whatever they call. But e.l.f. brushes and sponges are fire. And they're so affordable. So yeah, this is basically how I just work it into my skin. It takes a little bit longer I will let y'all know it does take a little bit longer in like your makeup process, but it's because the the brush isn't picking up as much products as a beauty blender would. I feel as though all the product used to just get absorbed into my beauty blender and it really wasn't concealing anything on my face. So that's why I went in with brushes instead. And that's also why it takes a little bit longer because you're working with a lot more product. I feel like I'm talking to y'all like I know what I'm doing, okay? Like, I'm excited because that just means that I'm learning how to work my face and my skin with my products. So... I'm proud of me, okay? Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. 
okay so now we're gonna go back with our foundation brush and we're just going to blend everything together make sure it's seamless it's definitely harder to blend with brushes but the payoff is just it's everything you need and more okay so you want to go in between your concealer and contour to make sure everything is blended seamlessly okay now it's time to set it i love cover fx it's dirty i know but i use a pretty good amount of this it's their medium shade and it's perfect for my skin tone um now i am going to use a beauty blender for this part only okay um one thing i do differently is i spray it with all nighter by urban decay i don't run it under the water for a long amount of time because i'm not using it to blend any like liquid product i'm just using it a little bit to get it wet not damp okay like slightly damp before i go in with my powder i do the jackiana method where i take the powder onto my hand and then i apply it to my skin and it just looks bomb i feel as though if i do it with a dry brush if the, the powder won't pick up onto the sponge as well as it would if it was damp. And I also go over my eyeball because she just be, she don't be blended. Like, here's the thing. You have concealer under your eyebrow that you drag down to your eyelid. And then you also have concealer and foundation under your eyelid, but nothing on your eye. So yeah, I just cover it with um, powder and I'm also going to do something else later but now after i set everything i'm gonna go into my true complexions contour kit with my same contour brush from elf slightly pick up a little bit of product and i'm really gonna focus it on like where my hairline is versus going down towards like my mouth and my nose because i don't need that area to be super duper dark okay i'm just setting it because it was a cream product and every cream product you got to set with a powder so yeah on who does not coming together okay on who you also got to bring in the middle of your face you know by slightly chiseling contouring the nose <laughs> i feel like that was coming together like i could not wait to give y'all all the see all the tips and tricks period y'all better like this video Okay, y'all better like this video, all right? And back to the eyeball thing, yeah. I be having veins in my eyelids too, so this a little bit of powder from the contour really helps, like, cover that up, okay? Because don't mind me see all that. And I do use blush. Okay, at this point, Elf sponsored me, baby, because this is their blush. I don't know what color. But um, here I am using the one and only Sephora 91 brush. I think it's their powder brush. This is perfect for uh it's their powder brush and it's perfect for blush because I definitely got tongue tied just then. Once you do all that, I drench my face, literally take a bath in the setting spray. This just brings everything together and it makes sure it's locked in, okay? So it's not transferring onto your mask. It's, it's not sliding off your face when you go out in that 90 degree weather. You know what I'm saying? It gets everything together, okay? And now I'm going to go in with Fenty Beauty. I don't know exactly which one, but it's the highlighter. She was not trying to pick up on camera. But the only place I put highlighter on my face now is my nose. It's I'm obsessed with it, okay? I will never stop doing it. Literally obsessed. I don't do that no more. Nope. And now I'm going in with this Great Lash Mascara. They kind of lied in the name. It's really not great. It's kind of mediocre. Um, I remember loving it in college, like my first or second year. So I don't know if they changed their formula, but you got to do a lot of work to put a little bit of product on your eyelashes. And I don't like that. It's also very messy. For it to be a small brush, it was messy as hell. I'm going to go in with some falsies, okay? I use hair glue, yes. Argue with your mama. And I don't use tweezers anymore. I just use my fingertips because it's so much easier. I don't know why I was ever using tweezers. Um, my eyelid was not trying to rock with me and my eye definitely started crying. So I went ahead and put the other one off camera. I recurled my hair because I wanted to take cute pictures for you guys. And now we are getting into the lip. I used LA Girl in Deeper's Brown. Nick suede in another color. And I use a little bit of concealer in the middle of my lip because why not? You know, it looks bomb. Like for me, it works better than any new lipstick. It's just. I personally like it, okay? So if you don't, mind your business. But yeah, make sure that when you put on your lip liner, you blend it into your lip. 
Like, don't just be drawing a line and then keeping it pushing. It. Like, don't nobody like that. We can see the line of demarcation, sis. Go back and blend it out, okay? And then I like to use liners in the middle of my lip, too. I think everybody starts to do this now, though. I don't know. I know it just can't be me. Wow, that lip pop was actually a little bit too much. But, yeah, make sure that you blend these two together as well. Blot your lips together before you move to the next the next thing, which is adding the concealer. I promise you it's going to look good. You look crazy when you first apply. Don't apply too much. It looks super light and bright and white and girl. It looks like you're setting yourself up for failure. You got to go back in with the lip liners and fix it up and stuff, you know. But once you top it with your lip gloss, I'm using some clear... I don't know who is by. It's not NK, and that's my favorite. But it smells like mangoes. One dollar at the beauty flat girl. Love it. And I'm just gonna top my lip with that, and everything's gonna come together. I feel like I look super duper cute. What y'all think? Comment down in the sections, or comment in the comment section below. Tell me what type of things and methods and techniques will y'all do you know what i'm saying also if you like this hair stay tuned for my, for my next video which will be uploading on sunday but yeah that's the whole look y'all on who i'm not fine is book all right you can't tell me she all right period so i hope y'all enjoyed today's video i hope you learned something new i know it was very talkative but i had a lot to say okay so i'll see y'all in the next one bye mamas Mwah. love y'all hold it got a dump in yeah pour it know what i mean bitch on it on it on it on it